Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Answers' first video of 2017. Well, it's good to be back. Uh, it was real quiet over the holiday season because, uh, well, wife had a new baby, so yeah, those tend to take up a lot of time. But anyways, moving on, uh, I decided I was going to switch out my CPU over a holiday break to go from a Xeon to the i7-6850K, which turned into I need a new motherboard, which turned into might as well replace the RAM, which turned into I need a Titan. Anyways, so I ended up with an i7-6850K, the uh, uh, EVGA uh, X99 FTW K. K. Uh, I got uh, Corsair Dominator Platinum Special Edition. Got the black kit. I uh, got cable mod, uh, black set of cables, and I also got the uh, uh, <laughs> Titan X. Uh, went with the uh, uh, new Corsair case. Uh, so, yeah, I built a whole new computer. But today's video, we're going to take a look at the Titan X. Uh, I don't know if you've heard a lot of people complain that it's it's a hot card. It can get pretty pretty toasty. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, uh, and replace a thermal compound. See if that can help that help it get away from its base clock. Because as of right now, once you get running and you get hot, it just goes right down to its base clock. It's not thermal throttling. Thermal throttling would be if it's pushing it below its base clock. So we're not quite there. But it is it's 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 hitting its 84 degrees and it's going right down to its base clock. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can get it off of that and maybe get a little bit more performance out of the Titan. I, I know it's awesome, but see if we can get a little more. All right, so what we have is we have this camera watching me. Hi. And then I have my regular camera over here watching the GPU temperature, fan speed, and core clock so we can keep a monitor on that. So what we're going to do is we're going to run Heaven uh, at the maximum presets, of course, minus stereo 3D and multi-monitor, but anti-aliasing all the way up, tessellation all the way up, and uh, quality on ultra, so we can get this card as hot as we can. We're going to run it for 10 minutes and see where she staples out at. But first, let's see how fast this thing turns down. All right, my idle temperature is 46 degrees Celsius right now as the program starts. There we go. Turn my volume down. Oh, it's climbing fast. We have uh, 1800, a little over 1800 megahertz with uh, oh, steadily climbing at 64 degrees. Fans only at 36%. All right, I'm starting to hear it. It's at 40% fan speed. Temperature's getting there. Eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-three, and eighty-four degrees. And now it should start turning down the core clock. Yeah, we're already in the 1500s. Oh, jump to 17. Fans at 50%. On the 1400s. Temperature's jumping up to 85. Oh, it's hit 86 before. Anyways, we're going to leave that for 10 minutes and see where we're at when we come back. Alright, so I made some adjustments to the lighting. And uh, after 10 minutes, it looks like the, uh, uh, well, a little over 10 minutes. It looks like every time it tries to get above the 14, the 1,417 megahertz base clock, it gets pulled right back down. Looks like we're hovering about 82 to 84 degrees Celsius with a 52-55 fan speed. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this. That's not how you end it, Josh. I'm going to go ahead and end this test. 
let it cool down, and we're going to do it one more time with a higher uh, fan and power limit and temperature limit. We're going to bump it up to 120% power limit with a uh, max temperature of 90 degrees Celsius, and we'll see what that gets us. All right, attempt number two at this, because uh, I totally recorded me, and I forgot to apply the uh, uh, power limit and uh, temperature limit setting. Now they're applied, so when I start recording it, I won't look silly. All right, let's try that again with uh, 120 power limit, 120% power limit, and 90 degrees Celsius limit. Should kick up the fan a lot faster. Already up to over 70 degrees Celsius. Eighty-eight degrees, eighty-nine. Fans up to seventy-two, seventy-three. Climbing, but it looks like we're holding at seventeen, seventy-two, seventeen, eighty-five megahertz. All right. Well, it seems like everything's starting to level out. We're going to let this run and come back. Alright, it's been a little over 10 minutes, and it looks like we've settled out at 88 degrees Celsius, 88% fan speed, and 1,772 megahertz. A lot faster, but as I'm sure you can hear, a lot noisier. Alright, so what we're going to do next is, I'm going to do one more test. I'm just going to crank this fan up to 100% and see how good we can get it. So, alright. In fact, I think I'll do it while the test is running. Where did my mouse go? Alright. Minimize the test. There we go. Hands up to 100. It's creeping up a little bit. Let's give that a few minutes and see where it evens out. Alright, so it's been about two, three minutes, and uh, we're now at 1785. That's, uh, that's all it got us for a ton of noise. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stop this test, uh, break down the card, and replace the thermal compound. So, first and foremost, I'm a doofus, and I don't know how it's going to work out with editing the video or anything yet, but... Uh, <clears throat> Um, I forgot my mixer that runs all the audio for my recordings is powered by my computer. So, I don't know how much audio I lost, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, uh, the other video camera did actually record some. So, what we're gonna do is, I have my mixer powered elsewhere. So, now my mics are back up, and I'm gonna start taking this down. So, let's see where we, how far we can get. And if I have the right bits.
So, I'm a dumb dumb head. I don't think any of that was recording. Well, got the card apart. Uh, I've already got uh, my uh, uh, Gelid GC Extreme uh, thermal compound replaced. And now we're going to put the card back together. I still cannot believe I forgot to hit record. Jeez. Okay, got that monitor turned so that camera can see it a little better because I don't have a second stand. In fact, I just have it sitting on the box for the Titan X. <clears throat> Ambient temperatures are a little lower as you can probably see. It's 35 degrees Celsius right now. Fans at 23. If you hear something that sounds like a lullaby or a baby crying, that's because I have the monitor for my two and a half year old right there while my wife deals with the newborn. Alright, let's get heaven fired up. All right, same settings as before. Now this is default, nothing has changed. All right, looks like everything's heating up nicely. We're gonna let that go for 10 minutes and see where we end up. All right, not only am I pretty good at getting the uh, reflection from my lamps in my room, uh, looks like uh, everything's settled out. Now, I can't say it's doing much better, but I believe it's doing better. It looks like it's staying above the uh, boost, the uh, excuse me, the base clock more than it was prior. So right there, it just hit base clock, and then it immediately, you oh know, well it has been, but it's been coming back up rather quickly. Seems like this part of the bench is uh, hammering it pretty hard. Yeah, see there it goes. Oh, back down. But <clears throat> either way, some improvement. Hopefully, uh, ramping up the fan speed, we'll see more. Well, let's go ahead and quit this test out. Let everything cool down. And we'll start the next one. Okay, so this test has actually rendered no noticeable improvement. Uh, we are at about uh, 1,772 megahertz going down every now and then, uh, fan speed level off. What it seems to be is it's taking longer to hit that peak, but once you give it time to warm up, it's, uh, it's hitting that limit. It's hitting its, uh, 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 soft limits pretty, pretty regularly. Just takes some time. As you can see, the, uh, where the fan curve just slowly goes up to its full 88% that it's running at now, the, uh, frequency has been pretty steady for a while, and obviously it's had to ramp the fan up to keep it there. Uh, temperatures 88, 89, that's where it stayed. So, I'm gonna do the full speed fan test. I'm just gonna ramp the fan up right now, right here. Let's see if that makes any improvement. All right, let's give this a couple minutes. All right, everyone. Uh, looks like it didn't really do a whole lot. You can see it bouncing around. Oh, oh, 1797, that's a little better. So not a whole lot of difference between 100% and 100% uh, uh, and 75, 80%, uh, except that the temperature is a little lower, but the frequencies it runs are still about the same. So without making it any hotter in this room, I think I'm gonna call that one a video. All right, everyone, so to conclude this video, it doesn't look like uh, replacing the thermal paste did much for it, except for on its lowest, quietest setting. It seemed to help keep it off of its base clock a little more. That was about it. Ramping up the fan speed netted us about the same frequency. So, 
that's it for this one. I think just about the only thing that'll help this thing is some liquid cooling, which hopefully I'll be able to get to within the next few months. Well, that's it for today. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see the other five videos I have. I don't know, whatever. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.